Today is production day. We're going to learn about straw cultivation with Brad Coons. That's coming up next. All right, I'm here at Top Shelf Mushrooms with Brad Coons. Today we're going to talk about straw cultivation. How you doing, Brad? Good, good. So maybe you can walk us through uh, how you grow mushrooms on straw. Sure. So we use organic spelt straw that we harvest from our fields. My business partner has uh, a whole bunch of farms, and so we have access to our own straw. They're all certified organic. So we use a forage chopper in the fields to chop all the straw down, and we have about 20,000 pounds of straw in another part of our building in a big pile. So we will forklift or uh, pitchfork all that straw into uh, IBCs, and IBCs is an intermodal bulk container. It's kind of what you see sometimes in movies where they have a bunch of water, kind of a big cube, uh, plastic. So we fork, uh, in fact, we've got one up here filled with straw. Uh, so this straw right here has been soaked uh, overnight and drip dried. Um, so we use a, a, a lime pasteurization process, which is a very cold process. Uh, we don't need to use a lot of heat, so it's not very energy intensive and the lime raises the pH in the water really high, especially when it's cold, um, and that will kill all the microorganisms that are resident in the straw from out in the field, which we don't want because they're competitors with the mushrooms. So um, it's an efficient process because it lets us just soak, drain, and uh, then inoculate, and we have very clean substrate. Not sterile, but very clean in such a way that the, uh, the spawn can really uh, work its way through the straw quickly and, and, and outrace any competitors. So, you know, obviously uh, you've been doing this for a while mm -hmm. and uh, you're very efficient in, the, in your process, but you must have gone through a lot of trial and error to kind of streamline what you're doing today. Maybe you can talk about a few things that, where you started mm -hmm. and, and, and the reason why you're doing it the way, the way you are today. Sure, uh, well, I started by, by cooking our straw or boiling it, uh, not, not quite boiling, but like 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, there was a lot of moving of water, a lot of energy, a lot of waiting for things to get up to temperature. And I just thought to myself, this, this has got to be a better way to this. Um, the other thing is that we've also, uh, <laughs> the way we first started chopping straw with a weed whacker in a barrel, uh, which is not very efficient. And um, then I got a leaf cutter, uh, I tried that, and that worked better, but it took a long time. And then I said, you know, I'm gonna get a bale chopper. Uh, which you can put in small straw bales, and that worked for quite a while. That was sort of at the scale that I was at. But um, the latest one, we just use a forage chopper right in the field and fill up giant wagons and just dump, and, and it's already pre-chopped, ready to go, it's consistent. Um, it, just, it makes handling a lot easier. So we're now at the scale, but that's not, it's not a scale that's suitable for everyone, but it's, it's what we're at, where we're at now. Awesome, so Brad, we have uh, straw on this table. Yep. Uh, it's been prepped, soaked, drained. What are we going to do today? Well, okay, so we have a we have a HEPA flow uh, filter right now, which is meant to really just try to keep the air in this little room uh, clean. It's blowing across the surface of the straw. That way, if there's any nasties in, in this uh, in our uh, warehouse, they're not going to land on the straw and then take advantage of a nice, moist, rich food source that they can start eating ahead of the mushrooms. So what we're going to be doing is just uh, pulling down some of the straw. Uh, we use just a little rake to just kind of pull it down onto our table. Uh, we, we sort of mix it, use the rake to kind of spread it out to a consistently uh, thick layer. And then we're going to sprinkle spawn all over it and then mix it in. And uh, once we're done that at the right ratio, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll just slide it to the end, kind of like slap shot against the back wall and it drops down the tubes. And um, then we'll be bagging it down on a station below us. So we use gravity to do this as opposed to shoulders. So maybe, uh, maybe you could tell us what mushroom spawn is and sure. uh, what we're working with today. Sure, so we, we're working with... Um, so mushroom spawn is basically mushroom mycelium. That's the white root network of mushrooms. And we're going to... Uh, we, have, we have it grown it in, on sterilized grain. And it's grown for a period of about maybe 20 days or so. And we have different species, and they all kind of look the same, so we have to kind of put labels on them and so we know which one's what. 
And so the first thing we've got to do is we've got to break this up into individual seed kernels. And so one of the tricks that we've sort of discovered is that by adding wheat bran to this, uh, when we give the squeeze, wheat bran kind of acts like little marbles in between the grain and acts kind of like a lubricant, so it makes it really easy to break apart. Especially if you get the spawn a little bit ahead of it being like a fully colonized uh, brick, then it's a lot easier. And that, and that adds up when you're doing a lot of inoculations in a single day. Like we'll go through 60 bags of this in a day and um, breaking it up, you know, if it takes a minute versus 20 seconds, that adds up over time. So you're, so, so you're adding uh, two bags of spawn to this mm -hmm. straw here. And you're, that's going to do about one column to maybe one and a half columns. Right. And the goal is about 80 pound columns right. uh, for your incubation. Correct. Correct. And uh, from that, you're hoping to produce uh, maybe 20 pounds of mushrooms. Is yeah. that correct? 20 to 30 pounds, and depending on how many flushes we allow them to have. Um, six, six to eight weeks. Yeah. About that. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, let's uh, let's just watch how you do this. Okay. Well, thanks, Brad, for showing us how you grow mushrooms on straw. I think one of the things that really jumps out to me on Brad's farm is efficiency. He really has thought about all the ways to cut down on labor and be as efficient as possible so that his time is valued. That is definitely something that I want to focus on next year, and Brad has really opened my eyes on what is possible. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button right now, share and like these videos with your friends, and check out our 2017 mentorship workshop on our website at wtfmushrooms.com. All right, bye for now.